Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am Uwa Queen Nika, Jessica, whatever you want to call me. And today I did a Chicago inspired makeup look. And I've been doing like a whole set of musicals as makeup looks. So if you guys want to go check it out, you can check out my Twitter at Muwakuinika, my Instagram at Muwakuinika, and then my Snapchat at super.sunny. Yeah, if you want to keep watching, you can see how I did this. And then also I do talk about some conspiracy theories. So let me know if that's something that you would want me to do in the future or some sort of like vlog as I do my makeup or tell me what I can do that could be interesting and different than the other <laughs> are you smiling at me <laughs> tell me what I can do that could be interesting and different and unique than other makeup tutorial things that you guys have seen give me some ideas I am lit about it <laughs> anyway keep watching so today I'll be starting with the unicorn essence skin enhancing Antioxidant Serum! <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce the brand name, so I'm really sorry. It's an awesome primer and it smells amazing. And it looks like unicorn tears. Oh yes, let's zoom in on the zits. I'll teach you how to cover these today too, folks. <laughs> I'm gonna take my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo foundation. And then I actually mix that with, of course, my Hard Candy Glamouflage. ready to go. <laughs> so I got this brush from Icing. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea. It's just called the Powder Bronzer Brush and it's from Icing, so <laughs> that's all I know about it. Down your neck, chin. I'll be grabbing my uh, Sajia Contour Kits. Amazing. Oh, don't look at my nails. Oh man. <laughs> I'm done. I'm really done. <laughs> Gotta grab my translucent powder in the meantime. Look at my new tattoo. Thank you very much. Watsky wrote it out himself. Not on my arm, but on a piece of paper. And it was great. I actually just kind of put this on the contour kit. This is just what I'm doing today. I sometimes do the eyebrows and eyes first. Sometimes foundation. Nothing matters! <laughs> I did not tweeze. You just can't focus on that. Think about anything else. Anastasia Beverly Hills, Dip Brow Pomade, and Soft Brown. You guys, I did not tweeze. I just didn't. Can you put the radio in the background? I don't know. Do you think I could play conspiracy theories in the background? I don't know, but that would be fantastic. I'm just could. saying. I think we can just do that. Makeup, makeup conspiracy hour. I, I'll teach you a little bit I of makeup. I can do that right now as I'm doing this Chicago themed makeup. <laughs> okay, let's start talking some real shit here. Okay, we'll think it. Okay. <laughs> oh, fucking K. You want to see this? I can make this into a thing. A conspiracy makeup set. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, everyone calm down. <gasps> All right, anyway. so what shall we talk about? <laughs> I don't know, there's so many! Well, I've been kind of, okay, I've been thinking about aliens recently. Okay. I've been thinking about aliens. I think about aliens every day of my life, I think Jessica. about aliens a lot, a lot of days. To somebody else, we are aliens. I think that humans are aliens. We are <laughs> because aliens. Because we did not belong on this earth, and then all of a sudden we just drop down. That, I mean, some people could say it's God. Some people could say it's a literal spaceship. They're I'm sure they're watching already. They're always watching, man. Even when you're not on your phone, it's still recording you. This camera's probably bugged. Some people say that the aliens aren't even located in Area 51, but like a little plant offside Area 51 called S4. So that when the president or whatever talks about Area 51, they can say, no, there's nothing here. There's no life. And they're not lying. And they're not technically lying, because the aliens are over at S4. Look that shit up. Also, I'm probably not going to edit out any of the swear words, so an apology in advance for my parents or family members watching this. I'm very sorry. Yeah, we get very passionate but about But I'm going to get stuff. pretty passionate about conspiracy theories and alien and ghosts. Yep. I'm putting glamophage on my eyelid now, by the way. I guess this is normally the part where you would carve out your brows, but I'm just not... 
I'm just not feeling that today, and plus they're not too like messy, so it's like, that's fine. Also, everybody get used to Ebony just being here. <gasps> yeah, get used to me. Just get used to it. Okay, I'm gonna skip aliens because I can't think of anything else. Okay, so I something just, else messed up. Okay, something else messed up is, I don't know how to pronounce it, the De De Love Pass incident? The De, De Love? Okay. I Love, whatever. It's about nine hikers or skiers that went up to this mountaintop that all the locals were like, don't fucking go up there, you're gonna die, fine. But apparently they were all really experienced, so they were just like, okay, whatever. And they went up, oh actually it was ten, but then one got sick and then left back, so it was just nine. They, they said they were going to return home like a week later and they never did. So everyone went out to look for them and then they found all of their like bodies. And then like some of them were setting it with the powder. They were like the, the bones and like the skull was like fractured and crushed but like the skin was fine. They were like crushed from like the inside. And their deaths are completely, you can't describe it because it makes no sense. Like it just, it makes no sense. Like there's... They just died from they, the they inside just died. out. And, oh! Oh, the other big thing was the tent. Um, really quick, back to makeup. I am going to be um, doing like a really thick eyeliner. We'll be using the Morphe gel liner and the LK Cosmetics Rose Petal Loose Powder for the red, because it's gonna be like a red faded into a black. And then I'm gonna do a cut crease above that with the NYX Vivid Brights liner and I think the black from the Huda Beauty palette, which is a beautiful palette. So that being said, um, the tent for the dialogue past incident. Like, apparently they were all in their tents, and the tent was ripped from the inside, which means that they were like scared and they were trying to get out of the tent, so they ripped it open. And some of them, they were found like naked or with like, no clothes. Why the hell are they out there in the cold? They were experienced like skiers. They were supposedly so scared of the tent that they ripped it open and just ran the fuck out there. Because something was in there? I don't know. So apparently the three conspiracies, I don't know if I can remember off the top of my head. I know one for sure. Um, oh, some people think that the locals did it. The ones that were like telling them, like, don't go up there. They think that they did it because they told them not to go up there and they did. Well, I can't remember, but the last theory is aliens. That they were actually like, killed by aliens. The aliens got up there, messed around with their tent. They got so scared because they, it was an alien, so they ripped open their tent, they ran. And then they got bones crushed from the inside. Anyway, so that one I was reading up on. I started going away from the like Illuminati and started heading towards like real things that have happened because the Illuminati started freaking me out after a while. Yeah. So I started just going like on unsolved mysteries, unsolved murders from like a long time ago. We could do the Wizard of Oz then. Yes. Not really. Well, there's a couple of conspiracies, but the Wizard of Oz is more just factual based. Yeah. But still. It came from like people that actually worked on the set, so it's like. I read these threads on Twitter all the time, and the one from The Wizard of Oz had a whole bunch of like interviews from like Judy Garland and cast members and everyone on the set saying how horribly they were treated by like the directors. So apparently, when Judy got the role, they were like, yo, we love your singing voice, but you are too fat. So they put her on a diet. She was like 16, by the way. Like a personal trainer, and they put her on a diet of 80 cigarettes a day, black coffee. Oh god, and it was like one other, like just disgusting, like gross food. Random food. Yeah. And not only that, but during like the filming, they made her wear two corsets to suck in whatever they wanted to suck in. And that's factual. She said that. That's not a conspiracy that really happened. They really treated her like garbage. The Tin Man almost died from his like suit because of like all like the lead and I'm pretty sure I really stuff. did hear that the first one died. No, I thought it was just the one almost no, died. I, I thought I heard that there was an original actor and he died I because of poisoning that. from the paint. And then they had to hire the second one. I mean, I could be wrong, I can't remember exactly where I heard that from. I thought somebody told me that he had actually died, though, and then they had to find another one. We're gonna go with this, by the way. I'm purposely doing that now, so it creates... Yeah. Oh, it was pretty messed up. And the Wicked Witch of the West got burned in one of her scenes because the fire lit when it wasn't supposed to, and they were just like, oh, sorry! Like, severely burned. Yeah, she was supposed to go through, like, a trap door, but the trap door never opened, and they lit the fire, and it was the whole thing! What's that about? You can't do that. 
And I guess she was one of the only nice ones. Oh yeah, she was. She was apparently Judy Garland said that the Wicked Witch of the West was actually the only one on set that really treated her nice. Oh! Well, this is the conspiracy, is that one of the munchkins on set had committed suicide while on set, but they were filming, and apparently in the original movie of it, you can see the image. Um, it's it's out there, it's on the one um, thread, but it's pretty disturbing, so if you guys don't want to see that, do not go look. If you like really disturbing things like I do, apparently, <laughs> go check it out, I guess. Apparently it was debunked by like the crew and they said it was just a speaker that had fallen and it wasn't real, but... I don't know. It... Well, aliens. Aliens being ghosts? Yeah. No. Oh, I guess I can't remember something. We should probably... Oh, fuck yeah, you're right. Right now I'm kind of making things worse. I'm just putting concealer on so I can put some red on here. I can talk about the Mandela effect with Berenstein Bears theory, which is mm -hmm. always interesting. That's LK Cosmetics, everybody! Represent! So, the Mandela effect, if you guys haven't heard of it, it's very, it's a very famous theory, so I guess a lot of you have. But if you haven't, um, it starts with Nelson Mandela because um, a lot of people swore that they remember him dying in prison. He just died like in 2013 or whatever it was. And everyone's like, that is not right. He died in prison. What y'all talking about? And boom, the Mandela effect. By the way, this is why people don't do their foundation right away, but it's like whatever. So the other thing is the Berenstein Bears. A lot of people remember it being Berenstein, when in fact it was always Berenstain. It was an A and not an E. I myself remember as a child it being Berenstein. Me too! I definitely remember Berenstein. Yeah, that and one. now I work at the library and I see the books all the time and it's Berenstain and it makes me so angry. <laughs> oh yeah, so explain the theory then. Oh, so the theory is alternate universes where, um, People think that every once in a while we switch into an alternate universe where little things change. Yeah, just like little tiny things like that, like the Baron Singers. Or sex in the city being sex and the city. That could be like a human talking error, but it's still interesting. Right. By the way, I promise this will all get better. Oh yeah, everything, everything comes together. I promise it's gonna get better. It's just this is what it looks like right now. I'm gonna put this where that accidental crease was. I thought this was just blunting it. Blunting black is hard. A lot of people believe that Paul McCartney died in 1966 and was replaced by a lookalike. So Paul McCartney allegedly died in 1966 from a car crash. Um, apparently because they were in the peak of their you know, career. Their, their career. Right, they didn't want. Good. There was a shit ton of fans, so they didn't want like a mass suicide over this. They're like, all right, we gotta, we gotta cover this up. So they got William Shears, which was apparently a, a Paul McCartney lookalike, and they gave him some like surgeries. Apparently, a couple reasons for that are they they hit a lot of the messages in their songs. So apparently, if you play a couple of them backwards, they'll say, like, Paul is dead. It's in one of the songs, but they, apparently they say, um, at the very end, I buried Paul. Apparently, for the Abbey Road cover, the way that they're walking, John Lennon is first, and he's in an all-white suit, which means, like, God is the next one, and apparently he's dressed as, like, a mortician, like, somebody that deals with dead bodies, and then next is Paul. He's the only one with his foot out of place, he has a cigarette in his hand. The next one, I think, George. I, again, I can't remember, but but apparently he was dressed as a grave digger. God, mortician, the body, and then the grave digger. So like the whole death thing. 67 or whatever? Yes, because Rubber Soul was made in 1965. And then they said that on the cover of Rubber Soul, Paul grew his hair out to cover a surgery scar. But that album was made in 1965. There you go. That was it. Done. Both NYX, NYX Liquid, uh, NYX Liquid Crystal Liner, and NYX Vivid Brights. 
take the crystal liner first. And this all goes in a little crescent. Apparently there's a theory that a lot of times they'll make clones for celebrities for when and if they die. To keep their popularity yeah, keep and money making growing. And money making thing going, yeah. So as much as I do love these liners, I do want to put a warning out there that it has been recorded, not recorded, but a lot of people have said that this does irritate their skin or kind of feel like it's burning or itching or whatever. For me, I do kind of feel that it, it does get irritating when it dries. But I wear a lot of makeup, so I'm used to my skin just <laughs> feeling irritated. Also, everyone should let me know if that's a good idea, if I should do, like, like talk about stuff yeah. while we do this. Yeah, for sure. Because I'm interesting and I have things to say. The Denver airport thing does mess me oh, up, Oh, the Denver, okay, stop on that. Okay, the Denver airport. Mm. So apparently, people in Colorado have also attested to this, that the Denver airport is all kinds of messed up. So you start by seeing this giant horse, which they call Belucifer. Well, okay, so first of all, they built it wrong the first time. Completely built the place wrong, the entire airport. And instead of tearing it down or using the pieces of this airport to make the new one, or, you know, adjusting whatever they had to do, they took the entire wrong airport and buried it. The entire thing underground. So basically you have a huge Denver airport's worth of space underground and it's got electric and plumbing and everything. Yeah, yeah the, the people that built it said that someone could live down there. Yeah, that lots of people could live down there. Maybe we don't walk in, but apparently there's this giant statue of this horse outside and as the horse was being made it fell onto its creator and killed him. So the horse literally killed somebody and they still just display it and it has this red glowing eyes, especially if you look at it from a certain angle. What is that? So anyway, so you walk in there and apparently even when you like get off your plane, like apparently the exits are really confusing and it's really hard to get out of there. But um, there are a whole bunch of really just disturbing murals in there. This like warlord is killing the dove of peace and it's surrounded by a whole bunch of like refugees coughing and with gas masks and there's like a, um, a picture of like children mourning over their dead mother in a casket. That's comforting. And it is said that um, underneath is housed by the Illuminati. By the Illuminati. It's the Illuminati headquarters because it's yes. all, oh and apparently the Freemason symbol is on like a little stone thing outside the airport and apparently the Freemasons have ties to the Illuminati whatever I have no idea. We should check that pizza. Oh, fuck me! I Always add some glitz. It also cleans up the line. You just gotta get that line right there. Oh yeah, I know, I gotta get that one out of there. Ooh, the brush is getting some of the glitter in my eye. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I saw this article about a girl that had to get her eye removed. What? Because she got cosmetic glitter in her eye, and it got in there, and it got infected, and she had to get her eye removed. Can't stop, won't stop. That's all I gotta say. Can't stop, won't stop. Like I'm gaining cheekbones. I think I have Chicago Wish Watch it. Yes! Can we please? You just gotta check and make sure I'll blend it together.
Woo! I know. Oh, I forgot to contour my nose. I don't know how Anyway, these are the Shania lashes from Bahi Cosmetics. Oh, that's beautiful. Ooh. It's gonna make me cry, though. Oh, alien, of course. <laughs> of course. Hey, oh, I look so gross. <laughs> oh my god, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Why isn't anything working? Literally, this is the worst. I'm gonna have to face tune the shit out of this. I used to be an emo goth, pretty much. You've had that for a long time? Mm-hmm. That's awesome. That's amazing. Can I borrow that sometime? Okay. Are you ready? Oh my god. Is it horrible? No, I want you to see it. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today. Make sure to check out my social media channels. It's always at Monica. I can put the links in the description below. Be sure to leave a comment below telling me what kind of direction you want to see these tutorials go because I'm open to kind of anything from different techniques of filming to where I film. But anyway, <laughs> some just different unique ideas for makeup tutorials that you would like to see me do. So please let me know and thanks for watching.